A lot of you have been DMing me about a better way to cut kindling and have been telling me that the auger, the drill auger, is revolutionizing the whole industry. So what is a wood auger? Well, uh, this is a wood auger. This is a small one. Now I have seen these things in the past uh, hooked to like large, you know, one, two horsepower motors, uh, kind of on a fixed bench sort of thing for splitting uh, larger firewood. But I've not seen one uh, on, or a small one like this until I purchased it that's designed to fit on a drill, a drill head. I guess the idea is that you can snap it onto your cordless drill and then you can easily and efficiently cut kindling, allegedly. So I had a little trouble finding this. I finally, I guess I went onto eBay and there were, it looked like maybe a couple guys building these things in their shops uh, and selling them. This one in particular was supposed to fit a half inch chuck but of course nothing on the homestead is ever easy and it does not fit, it's too big. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to take that shank down, uh, grind that down a little bit, maintaining uh, its center. It's not going to be balanced as it is, as it was, you know, from being right off the lathe. Uh, so we'll have to do our best, but I don't think it'll matter so much because uh, it's not gonna be turning super fast. So let's chalk it up here and uh, see if we can take that down a little bit. It didn't take much grinding uh, to make this fit. It's uh, of course not uh, perfectly balanced. I found that if I, I can chuck this in like little different spots that it does seem to be better in some places than others. I can live with that. I mean, it's gonna be slow speed. So uh, one concern I have about this is just, I noticed grinding it that this is, this looks, appears to be just mild steel, very soft. This probably should be hardened. Um, it seems to me anyway, but we'll, if you were to drop this, I think that it would pretty well bend. Uh, but, <laughs> so I think we'll try uh, splitting some, some kindling here and we'll start with a low speed. And uh, well, let's just go see what happens. I really have no idea. We'll start here on a pile of lodge. This is lodge pole. Um, Jack and I are moving this pile over to the uh, uh, over to the uh, porch. So I don't know the best. We'll just try a few things out here and see how it works. If we come into the side, okay. Um, what about the end? <laughs> okay, it's backwards thread. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Backwards thread. All right, that works a little bit better. It's kind of trying to like run a chainsaw with a chainsaw backwards there. Okay, so. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty cool. You just have to kind of stick it a little bit. And it, uh, boy, it really, It really cuts kindling. <laughs> it's really... Wow, that is really nice. It's actually fun to use. It, it really, you don't have, I mean, you just kind of poke it in there. We'll put it right in that knot, see what happens. Ooh, okay, okay. well, that's gonna take some. Yep, that's asking. Oh, that's asking too much. It's a good way to break your arm off there. Okay. Now how do I get it out? So the wood auger does have its limits. Um, we're going to have to see if I can... The drill's not strong enough to back that out of there. So we want to... It's opposite thread here, right? Yeah. Okay, so now we know. So you're, you, you want to start with maybe on the edges or some smaller pieces. I mean, just like you would with splitting kindling by hand, if you're gonna have a choice, you're not gonna grab that big gnarled piece, you're gonna grab something smaller. Let me grab, just grab one of these here. So this is something I would typically grab here for kindling. Okay, that's definitely on the edge. Let 
but it is very, very effective, especially on the smaller stuff like this here. You can go as small as you want. You can even kind of go through multiple layers at one time. And that's very effective. So how does it hold up uh, being mild steel? I did, well, probably a week's worth of kindling there. Not very much, but uh, it's polished a little bit, but I don't see any problems. I guess a guy could temper that um, and har heat that up and harden that. I don't think that'd hurt a thing. It'd probably be better, but man, is it easy to use. Uh, definitely fun to use. Like I just keep wanting to doing it, keep wanting to do it <laughs> or keep wanting to do it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's pretty cool. So what did we learn today? Well, I am impressed. It works a whole lot better than I was expecting. It's actually very fun to use. Um, where would this be handy? You know, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, my sister, for example, we were talking the other day that she had, uh, rent, uh, she'd rented a small ski place up in, uh, a couple of years ago and, uh, it was heated with fire and she's, you know, she's not, uh, exactly a, a lumberjill, uh, and she was having a lot of trouble. She sent me, actually texted me a picture of this one piece of firewood that she'd been working on, you know, with the ax, she called it my feather, you know, cause she did it so many times and it still wouldn't split. You know, for, for women or for people that, um, oh no, are you offended? I'm so sorry. Uh, women or people that are just, you know, kids, you know, I was really reluctant. You know, one of the responsibilities Jack has is he's in charge of the firewood, keeping the kindling cut and all that. And when he was little, uh, I was really worried about him. You know, I wanted him to learn how to use a hatchet and an ax, but, uh, you know, it's only one you know, one slip away from losing a hand or a finger, and that uh, had caused some concern for me. So would something like this maybe have been a better option? Uh, yeah, if you start with some small wood, as you saw, it will, you know, these drills are powerful. It will twist your arm off if you start with the wrong piece. But if you just use reasonable pieces and you pick out some things with straight grain like you normally would with an ax or a hatchet, uh, it is really great, and it's fast. I would be really curious to see if a guy, if, there, if we did a speed race, if a guy could cut more kindling in, let's say, five minutes or so with this than you could uh, traditionally with a hatchet. I'll tell you what, you guys give me 10,000 thumbs up. Support the channel, doesn't take much. Go down there and click the thumbs up. If you give me 10,000 thumbs up, I will uh, wrangle Jack in tomorrow and we'll pick two similar pieces of wood and we'll have a race. I'll give him this and I'll work with my Grand Forest Brook Small Forest Axe and we'll see who can cut the most kindling by weight uh, in, uh, in five minutes or so, or, or whatever it is we choose. Uh, that would be interesting to see, wouldn't it? But uh, man, I, it's really making me kind of rethink the traditional sp splitting method of using um, you know, a maul or using a, um, a hydraulic splitter. If you got a, a big version of these and you put it on a powerful motor, as I said, and mounted that permanently and set up a, a way that you could just kind of stab the wood on there, Man, I don't know that you could get a more efficient splitter than that. It just seems, it just seems so smart, especially if you got something that was big, like four inch, you know, by 12 inch or so. There's um, that auger, that screwing, turning action is very uh, powerful. It's a very powerful wedge. But that is, that's really interesting. Um, that's something that I could see just keeping, maybe just get kind of a, a low budget drill, a Harbor Freight drill or something, keeping it. Um, by the kindling box or even by you could keep this by your wood stove you could bring it in and 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 just cut your kindling right there when you're starting your fire but it's it's pretty darn good uh to be honest with you i'm i'm absolutely shocked but yeah click the thumbs up if you enjoy these and uh tomorrow jack and i will uh, be happy to do a speed test um i have no idea who would be faster uh, i'd have to work pretty hard i think to beat the auger and keep us in your prayers may god bless you and your families and we'll see you guys on the next video.